Hello, how are you all? I hope you're doing well. So we've been talking about Caitlyn Jenner on this channel and Caitlyn's uh, announcement of running for governor of California. If you haven't been paying attention, uh, the the recall Gavin Newsom effort did have enough signatures, the Secretary of State confirmed. So there will be a recall election, which that election is basically going to look like uh, uh, I believe it's going to be in the fall and it will say, do you want to recall Gavin Newsom? Yes or no. And if you say yes, you will then have a choice of candidates. And I believe they do have to put one Democrat on the ticket. And if you don't know anything about California, it's a complete one party rule. It is Democrat, 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 Democrat. So a lot of Republicans and moderates, I think, really want to get uh, an R somewhere on that ticket. So they want a Republican governor. Uh, anywho, so uh, you will have at least one Democrat and then you're going to have a few Republicans and Caitlyn Jenner announced that she is going to be running uh, as a Republican in in California against Gavin Newsom and we talked about this when I first heard about her running I was like ew gross I don't want anything about it and then I was like you know what maybe I should be a little bit more open-minded about this. Maybe this could be a very interesting thing to follow. And that's where I stand now. And there's a few updates with Caitlyn Jenner's campaign. So we're going to look at those. But here's where I stand right now. I am one, I am all the way a major Williams supporter. That's who I would love to see in office more than anyone. I am hands down all in for Major Williams. Although at the end of the day, it is so bad in California and I think where most people stand is we are going to vote for anyone that is better than Gavin Newsom and that can get Gavin Newsom out of office. So at the end of the day, I'm going to vote for who I think can beat Gavin Newsom because anything is better than Gavin Newsom. So Caitlyn Jenner announced this run, not ideal, but some interesting things have happened and again, uh, I'm not all for Caitlyn Jenner. I don't know much about her or her campaign or anything. I do like some of the things that she said. Uh, and if you follow Dave Rubin, Dave Rubin has put a request out for Caitlyn to come on his show and to do an interview with him. So that would be really interesting to watch. Uh, but anyway, let's talk about what is happening. By the way, Dave hasn't heard back from Caitlyn. It's out there. So hopefully uh, that happens so we can find out a lot more about this campaign. Is it is it a uh, publicity stunt? Or is it for real thing? It's going to be interesting as far as the narrative that we're seeing in this obsession with identity politics. Case in point, so two things I'm going to show you. One is a video that came out over the weekend. TMZ caught up with Caitlyn Jenner and asked Caitlyn uh, how she feels about uh, transgender males competing or biological males competing in women's sports. So we're a new campaign video that I have not watched at all. So we're going to watch it together. This is Caitlyn being asked about uh, her stance on... Uh, biological males competing in women's sports. This is a question of fairness. That's why I oppose biological boys who are trans competing in girls' sports in school. It just isn't fair. And we have to protect Girl sports in our but, but. So here you have an ex-Olympic athlete, a decorated Olympic athlete, a uh, transgender saying, I do not think biological boys should be competing with biological women in school sports. It's a question of fairness. Uh, I, I personally completely agree. Uh, so you had a huge backlash online, a lot of people saying that uh, the LGBTQ community coming out against Caitlyn, a lot of people saying this was an attack on uh, trans kids and things like that and it's not it's just a question of fairness and this is some of the problem where you can't even have the conversation we should all be able to live our lives and dress any way that we want to do whatever we want in our personal time but when your rights impede on other people's rights what's the saying your rights stop where mine start so the question is where are the rights of these biological girls competing in sports at a fair level because because they did fight for I think it was like 50 years to get separate boys and girls sports so that girls could have a level and fair playing field and that's really all it's about 
uh, but so many times you are just shut down. It's just a question of fairness. That's it. So I, I liked that response. Um, now let's watch this campaign video. I haven't seen it yet. This is new to me. Uh, so we're gonna watch it together. Here we go. Spain's Olympic gold medalist, Caitlyn Jenner, is now entering a new race for the governor of California. I've always been a dreamer. California was once the envy of the world. We had what everyone else wanted. The American dream grew up here. Yet career politicians and their policies have destroyed that dream. It's been locked away, closed, shuttered, left in the dark, burned down. The government is now involved in every part of our lives. They've taken our money, our jobs, and our freedom. California needs a disruptor, a compassionate. With that, California needs a disruptor. And uh, if you know anything about California politics, especially here in Los Angeles, we have very corrupt politicians, even on a local level. I think we've had like four or five count, uh, city council members in Los Angeles County that have been arrested for corruption. So that it uh corruption is it runs rampant in california 48 years ago to be the greatest athlete in the world now i enter a different kind of race arguably my most important one yet to save california i want to carry the torch for the parents who had to balance work and their child's education for business owners who were forced to shut down, for pastors who were not able to be with their congregation, for the family who lost their home in a fire, for an entire generation of students who lost a year of education. This past year has redefined our career politicians as elitists and the people of California as the warriors, the kings, and the angels. So when she was talking about the uh, fires in California, a lot of people and Gavin Newsom even tried to blame that on climate change. And that is true. To, that is true. Uh, you know, when you have dryness and, and no rain and then um, storms and heavy winds, all of that is a perfect storm for fires. But one of the things that happened, and this is sort of the over-regulation in California, is a lot of environmentalist groups were blocking some of the forest management. So when you're not doing forest management, and on top of that, uh, you have a, a dry climate and things of that nature, um, again, that's an even more of a perfect storm for fires like we saw. And even I'm from Cal or Colorado, or I lived in Colorado, I'm not from there, I lived in Colorado for five years and I remember doing like little like tours on some of the national parks and the rangers would always tell us yes we do controlled burns uh, because you can't have too much thickness because if a, if a fire breaks out it will spread even faster so you have to get all of that old dead stuff out of there and that's something that California was not keeping up on and Gavin Newsom tried to deflect that. We never take kindly to glass ceilings here. Instead, we shatter them. This one's way out there. We're the trailblazers, the innovators. California is facing big hurdles. Now, we need leaders who are unafraid to leap to new heights. He does not want to finish record in this race. He wants the world record. Who are unafraid to challenge and to change the status quo. I want to prove that it is absolutely possible if we only do it together. California, it's time to reopen our schools, reopen our businesses, reopen the Golden Gates. So I don't care if you're a Republican, Democrat, I'm running to be governor for all Californians. To reclaim our true identity, to bring back the gold to the Golden State. I want a tremendous victory. Now is the time to achieve that summit, to be the shining city on the hill, and together, will restore and renew the California dream. It's about what happens from here. It's not just about one person. It's about all of us.
Well, there it was. That was my first time seeing it. I mean, of course, I love all of it. Uh, I I feel the exact same way living in California. You move there because uh, you're in love with California. I've wanted to live there my whole life, and it's heartbreaking to see what it's become. Some of those images looked like they were from Venice Beach, uh, where I lived at the beginning of the lockdowns, and I believe homelessness has doubled there. I did a video, if you go back, uh, a few videos back, on what is happening in Venice Beach. If you look at the boardwalk, it's just out of control. I'm really interested to see what Major Williams does this week because I have a feeling he will do something he has to at this point and I wanna do a video on him and his campaign. Uh, but if anything, no matter what happens, I just think this this campaign and this, this attention is uh, very positive for Republicans and positive for messaging, positive for putting identity politics where it belongs, in the garbage. Uh, bye.